Previously on The Walking Dead. Go me! Ow, you bitch! <sighs> and now we continue. Hey everybody, hey it's the Awesome Dead here, and welcome back to more Walking Dead. In the last part, we just finished episode 3 above the law, and now episode 4 has been just released, thicker than water, when the community is threatened from within, Javier must match. What, what, manages unlikely allies for safety, for, for safety of his loved ones. So basically, what I, got, what I saw from the trailer of this episode, this is where a shit, like, I didn't really see shit hit the fan that much, but I did see, like, a little shit. I did see a little bit of shit in the fan. I did, see, I did see a tad bit of shit hit the fan, but I didn't see a lot. I didn't see as much shit hit the fan as in this picture. I wonder, like, I really like wonder like how it's gonna set up for episode four. Like, like I really want to wonder how episode four is gonna set up for the big finale. Like is Clementine gonna find you know is gonna find AJ? Is Javier and freaking is, is Javier gonna like you know survive the end of this? Cause I got a feeling that Javier might well I I just have a feeling that, like a major character is gonna suffer like a big is gonna do like a big sacrifice. Gonna have like a like final stand sacrifice moment. I feel like a big character is gonna die. I really don't want I, I don't want Clementine to die. Like Clementine. Not gonna die, Javier. I def I know Clementine better not die. Javier probably won't die, but w w really won't be the first time a main character dies in The Walking Dead. Like walk, like the first the first season of Walking Dead, the main character dies. Spoiler alert. So I really really won't be surprised if like Javier dies at the end of this. So don't forget to click the subscribe button. Don't forget to click the subscribe. I can't like. Ugh. I, I hate my speeches. Don't forget to click, click the subscribe button, everybody, and let's do this. Episode four, thicker than water. When the community, when the community, wait, what? When community is threatened from within, when the community, what the f grammar telltale? When the community is threatened from within, Javier manages unlikely alliances for the safety of his loved ones. I don't know why, but like, have you ever, have you ever like recorded when you, when you just looked up and record and your voice is like, nope, Danny, no, we're not gonna have proper speech today. We're gonna have you stutter. We're gonna have you do all this awkward shit, Danny. You think I have a single recording session without you doing something awkward? No, 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 no. Previously, Previously on, on The Walking, Walking Dead. Dead. No! You monsters! Fucking Garcias! Oh, you, you, you shook my goddamn guts out. Joan was in on it. We did it on her orders. I'm, I'm sorry. It is too late for sorry, you backstabbing shitbag. I'll help you. I'll, I'll tell everyone in Richmond about this. Maybe he'll be useful. Thank you. Thank you. I needed that. I'd hold it there, folks. And I'd consider explaining yourselves. I asked you to get Kate and Gabe safe. Not tuck your tail and run. This is not over, Joe. I have friends here. Allies. So Joe is like the main enemy now. I really want to see like how Joan like, how would her villainy, like, differ from all the other Walking Dead villains? Because I'm pretty sure, like, Governor, Negan, Beta, like, all the villains were, like, unique in their own way. So how is, like, Joan going to be different from Negan? How is Joan going to be different from the Governor? Like, how are they going to be different? From what I gather is, Joan is a little bit more on the Governor's side of evil. Like, he's not Negan evil. He's not... A whisper evil, but she's definitely like somewhere on par of Governor Evil. Like even he's like a little bit less than Governor Evil. So I guess it's the path before the whole incident. Nice, Javi. Well, you are a baseball player, so I wouldn't expect nothing more. Ooh, damn it! Strike one. I'm out of practice. That's all. 
Ah, same here. I haven't held a bat since the league booted me. Ugh. Well, you got all afternoon to get back in your groove. <sighs> oh, yeah. Just holding this thing makes me feel better. Nice. You okay? You doing okay? Uh, I've been wrestling with something. Hey! Wrestling with what? Hey, man, you're Javier Garcia, right? Yeah. The ball player? Can I get your autograph? Sure. If you could sign my baseball, that would be so awesome. Anything. Sure. sure thing, kid. Oh, man, thank you. Sure, anything, dude. Yeah, anything. Uh, I always like to meet it. I always like to meet it. Who do I make this out to? Oh, no, no, no names. Band player signatures are worth way more on resale than personalized crap. Okay. Just your name is fine. D don't date it or anything. <sighs> <sighs> Hope you like it. You're good. Oh, yeah! I might get ten bucks for this! Okay, wow! That's happy, big star. That's... Let's get back okay, to wow, okay. That was a lot worse than I thought, man. Fuck you, kid. Okay. You could just, you could just like kept that to yourself. You could just been nice. Yeah, crush it. Oh, it's out of here. Holy Like you could just been nice and been like, you know, say your name is Javier too and just like have him write Javier. You should try it. You know, you should just, you know, not be a dick about it, kid. Strike 2. Man, knock that shit off. I'm serious. You just talk, talk, talk. It's annoying. Chill, David. Jeez, you gotta learn to relax, David. What do you suggest? Put some money on it? Yeah. You know I don't do that anymore. Oh. I still can't believe you actually wanted to come here. If I were in your situation, and avoid batting cages forever. Whoa, excuse well, me, dude. Don't ruin this. for bringing me anyway. I needed the distraction. Crush it! Ugh! <clears throat> Ooh, Garcia's on fire! Damn right. I think your ego's boosted plenty. Next time, we go to the shooting range. I don't really shoot. But I do. And I'm good at it. Uh, ow! Fuck! You gotta shut up! <laughs> Stupid thing. My arm's throbbing. Don't be a wuss. Oh, come on. Don't be a wuss. <laughs> I used to tell you the same thing. You did? Yeah. <laughs> Back when we were younger. I remember I showed you how to play this game. Well, let this superstar return the favor. <laughs> Watch this. Crush it! Crush it! Oh my god, the crowd is going wild! I got it. You don't have to rub it in my face. I'm done. David... Wait, let's talk. David, what's wrong? Come, come back, back, David. Come on, let's talk I came here to reconnect. Instead, you just want to show me up. What? No, that's not what I mean. What's going on? David. Yeah, I didn't want to I didn't show you up. You don't understand because you only think about yourself. What? I'm being compassionate. I'm help me understand. You tried to help me. Yeah, let me help you. You really want to help? All right. Drive me down to the recruitment office next week. The army? My job. Sucks. Kate and I fight like cats and dogs. I belong back in the army. I had a purpose there. I had respect. Hey, you know what? Yeah, do what you gotta do. Yeah, do what you need to do. The army could be good for you. Yeah. I was expecting more of an argument. Things between me and Kate have been going downhill for a while. Yes, maybe the army has time to clear your mind stuff. But if I left... Seemed like that would be best for everyone. I can't keep pretending this is the life I want. Not anymore. No, the kids are too young for you to leave them. You gotta be around the, you know, coach yeah, come on. What the hell do you know about raising children, Hobby? I know enough to leave them. I'm not gonna lie. If I go, it's gonna be hard on everyone. Kate may need help from time to time. Yeah, I'll help her. You can help, right? You won't leave her hanging? I'll help. I need to know that. You tell me. I'll be there for them, since you won't. If you want to go, you should go. Yeah. If you want to go, you should go. Thank you. I'll be there for you. I really mean it. Now, that's what good? brothers are for, right? Yeah. We good. Hug it out. Hug it out! Come on! Well, come on! 
Buy your beer. What? No, no bro hug? Come on, no bro hug? No, that's fucked up. That's fucked up. Okay. Already, I'm liking this part. Get in there. I let you go. On the road, remember? Can't you help us now? Most I remember. It's why I haven't shot you already. That's how I'm helping you. Joan's making a huge mistake. No, you made a mistake when you tried to attack her. Hey, everybody just take a breath, all right? I was just trying to tell them and that's your mistake right there. What the? You can't fight everybody. Understand that Joan's not looking for revenge. She just wants order. Could have fooled me. Cooperation is the name of the game. There's still a way through this. You do anything she tells you to do, huh? Yeah. Go along with whatever she says. Basically, you're you're her lap dog. It's not like that. Joan's got a tough job. She needs all our help to keep this place safe. By stealing and pillaging and plundering? You boys want to make it out of here. Just relax and trust in the process. Yeah. Uh -uh. Mm -mm. Now I don't trust the process with this. Now, you see, I only like trusting the process when there's a gun to my head. You know what? So, nope. After I brought you in, after I saved your asses, this is how you treat me. Betrayal? Lies? I wanted to follow your plan, David. Kate wanted to escape. She's scared. Yeah, she's scared. scared. She's not telling me my own wife tried to fuck me over. She's I don't believe that for scared. Do you see what Joan's doing? This is a power grab, pure and simple. I could have found a way to protect all of you. But now? Now you're all on your own. You gotta still have some friends here, right? She managed to flip Clint and Lingard to her side somehow. Without them, it's hopeless. Damn. It's everyone out for themselves these days. We can beat them. Hey, we can still win this. Why does every shoot Joe in the together, face? I'm pretty sure they're all collapsed. Take down some punk ass soldiers. <laughs> you are so goddamn naive, huh? Okay, well, I'm trying to help here, buddy. We're outnumbered here. So? We could be far away from here. There are other communities out there. I'm right here with you, man. We don't have to run. We can handle it. All right. I'm listening. The problem is, I don't know what to do now. Uh, there's other communities. They got us boxed in here, literally. Be ready for anything. We don't know what they're planning, so we just have to get ready. Yeah, be ready for anything. The opportunities as they come. Just like pitches. Right, Javi? Just like pitches. Exactly like pitches. Get ready for anything. Well, now. You two seem ready for anything. Oh, well, we are ready for anything. Armed escort. You're that scared to face me? Oh, David. I'm not scared of you. Well, the arm escorts. I came here to talk, not fight. Yeah, what's with the guns then? There can be a problem, are you? I just want a calm discussion between us. I won't be a problem if you let us go. Yeah. In fact, I may even be friendly. I'm sorry. I can't do that. <laughs> but I like what you're trying to do. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy shooting you. But Clinton Lingard agreed. You've become a problem. Well, I agree that you're a bitch. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to call for a gathering in the square. The people deserve to hear a full explanation of your arrest. And then? Then you'll be replaced as head of security. No one's above the law, David. Not even you. Oh, not even you too. The laws, Joan. You're the one breaking. You happy? This place could have been something. Something good. And you ruined it. This place needs me to keep it safe. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it really doesn't. You set me up. Everyone's gonna see through your lies. I did what I had to do to keep the people of Richmond safe. They're going to see that. Uh, no. Nah. And they'll also see that the biggest threat to them right now is you. We'll debate all of this in the morning. Right now, David, I need to ask you some questions. In private. Bring him with us. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, Joe. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy shooting you. I'm gonna enjoy. It seems like in every Walking Dead game, I, enjoy, I like, I'm going to enjoy killing the villain. Get like the villain it. always does something where it's like, oh, I can't wait to shoot. Like, I forgot who that fat bitch was walking in the show. I forgot who that fat bitch was, but she deserved it. Like, they give you an option to to like end her suffering or let her suffer. Yeah, I'm pretty sure not a lot of people told to end her suffering. That bitch deserved it. That that bitch acted a little bit like Joan, where she where she said that she wasn't a bad guy, she wasn't the evil person, even though that clearly that bitch was evil. Ugh. 
It's not a lot of water in there, so... I got pipe... Well, you know, it, it's something, right? It, it, it's, a, it's a weapon, so I can just pipe the shit out of somebody. Fuck is this? Oh, weak... <gasps> what if the wall... Wait, what if that's a weak wall? Can I... Is that the weak... Oh, no, it's just... Well, that's about the kind of day I'm having. Yeah, so... If, if we can find, like, a weak wall or something... Okay, sheriff profit, that's a stool. So if we find like a weak wall, maybe we can use the pipe to bash it down. Or, or can use the pipe to, to do this. Like, or can use the pipe to break the lock. That's not gonna work. Yeah, it's gonna make a lot of noise. Or maybe we can use the pipe to like, you know, break the lock on that shit. Maybe we can use it to escape, but you know, it's, ooh, please tell me there's like a shotgun in here. Please tell me there's like a shotgun or like, oh shit. Nope. Uh, nothing useful here. Well, yeah, they probably have to get it out. But still, like, you know. Ooh. Hello. Could squeeze through there. How are we gonna get the bars out then? <gasps> Wait a minute. T Wait, take the stool. We bring the stool over to the window. And then we, cl then we break the window with the pipe? I don't know. That, that, let's see how that works. <laughs> know, let's see how this works, though. Stool over to the window. And possibly, I don't know, break the window with the pipe, maybe? I don't know how that'll work, but... <laughs> oh! No, it's glass. See, yeah, it's still male barred, so... Yeah. Oh, here we go. Here we go, come on! Come on! Come on! <sighs> nope. Imagine someone was looking at me like, what do you think you're doing, Javi? Javi! Oh, thank you. Kate! Kate, I wasn't sure how I was going to find you. Then I heard the glass breaking. Great, that means they hurt too. You're alive. You're alive so no. Just get me out. You escaped the guards. Barely. We gotta get you out of here. No king. Take this. Help me pry these bars off. <clears throat> Shit. Give it a push from your side. Uh, come on. Uh, oh yes. Oh. Thanks, Kate. Now, give me a hand. Come on, come on. Maybe we should put the bars back up there so they think that we have that think that we have an escape. Cause can we leave? A, I never understood that how like you have an escape route something like that and you just leave it like that. Like should you just like like put back so if they go back and check the room, it's gonna be harder for them to find out That's how you noise. escaped and chase you. It's hurt. They've got this place. Around. Damn it! They heard the glass breaking. Shit! Come on. Oh my gosh, look at the graphics on his beard. Like, you see that part where like beard is like floating off his face? Did you see that? Like, we, like rewind it back to like to the close-up of Javier's face. Like, part of his beard is like floating off. The place. Gabe's there with the others. <coughs> They've been hiding out there. <coughs> is Gabe alright? Is Gabe alright? He'd rather be charging in to save David right now. <coughs> but I can use him to be cautious. Uh, ugh. Ugh, I should hate being keep moving. moving. Uh. Alright. Wait, wait, where's the clip then? I haven't seen her in a while. Where are the patrols? Oh, in a while. They're around. I had some close calls on my way to find Oh, don't worry. You got around. You got you past got caught. I'm impressed. You must be feeling better if you're sneaking around like this. I'm not, really. Oh. But I'll get my rest when we're safe. Yeah, true that. Clean rest when we're safe. All clear. All clear. Come on. Be sneaky, be sneaky, be sneaky. Mel gets all sneaky time. Sneaky beaky. I play Mega song. I got this. I saw them take David from the quarantine building. Yeah, John, that's the question. Yeah. How's he doing? I can't be his you wife anymore. He feels betrayed by everyone. You, me, his people. Yeah. I wish it didn't have to be this way. Shh. Hold up. Oh, fuck, I'm the close one. I think it's clear. Let's move. Okay, we'll I like how you pop your head up and just say that. Like, should you just take like, a little peek instead of just, like, popping your whole body up? I think it's clear. What was it clear? I think it's clear. Who's that? Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. These must be the graves. They're gonna be looking for you soon. It's only a matter of time before they find the room empty and sound the alarm. They can keep looking because we're gonna be out of Richmond soon. Not soon enough. Well, as soon as like, we, we can get like everyone else, as soon as we get club time, then we're out. I'm pretty sure club time's all we need. That's Eleanor's place. Oh. 
He was fortified enough. There's a lot of activity all of a sudden. Maybe they found out I escaped. I don't like this. Come on. Let's get inside. Let's, 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 let's get safe. Oh, stealthy, stealthy! Oh, Mel gets off staff. Telltale presents. That's episode four, I think that water. In association with Sky that Entertainment. I'm gonna show the big logo. The big thicker than water logo. No? Oh, episode The Walking Dead. A new frontier. Why did they call it episode why did they call it season three New Frontier? Why why did they give me a whole new name? We all know it's season three. Right, it's, it's still a continuation after season two. So why not call it season three? Right. If they if the, if the next Tom Till Walking Dead is called Season 4, that'd be hella confusing. Or better yet, if they call it Season 3. That'd be hella confusing. I'll just be like, wait, what? I'll be like, what? What? Programming by Granny Standard. <laughs> Granny Standard. Granny is the standard in programming. If you ever need your programming done, Granny is the standard. Ryan D. Chan. Choreograph. I always, like... I always like had like like imagine me being one of those like actors and like one of those choreograph actors in video games. Like you ever know like sealed actors who like pawn all the green suit and like do the whole like action sequences or like do like a whole or like mimic the game characters with like action sequences so that the developers can like you know like 3D print them into the game shit like that. I forgot I think it's called 3D acting, something like that. I always imagine me doing something like that. I imagine that that being like a really cool profession. I imagine like like a heavy action game, like if you're doing like Uncharted or Walking Dead, some shit like that, and like you gotta put on that suit and you gotta like pretend like you know you're fighting off walkers or pretend like you're doing some epic like running away scene. I imagine that'd be really cool to do. Like I've always imagined, like is that really difficult to do? The pressure it does seem like green green, green screen suit and stuff like that, or that like like dotted suit, and then like you know guys okay run here and then run there and. It's, just like, uh, running, uh, running, and then go on the screen, and it looks like, you know, they should drink and running and shit like that. That must be pretty cool. Oh, shit. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Happy to see you. Really nice to see you, buddy. Yeah, okay. Fine. Sure. I just can't do this now. Ah, uh, so you know. Oh. Oh. Hey. 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 Uh, hey, you guys are having a little chatty chat. chat. Look who's here. Hey, guys. Uh, hey. <clears throat> Where have you been? Uh. Joan, what's up? Joan threw me and David in jail. If you can believe it. Yeah. Great. So you gave these people more reason to hate us. What is going on here in Richmond? Well, they all hear guts. You know more about this place than the rest of us. We've got to save my brother. He's still in their custody. And I'm scared what they might do to him. Yeah, they might you shout him. Trust him. You were right. I want to go save my dad. Right now. He needs our help. Yeah, you bet you will. Of course we will. Just as soon as we can. Really? Sure. We're family. We'll save him. Yeah. Javi. Well, and then he's still family, what? though. You can't stick around in town after you do that. Well, we're planning on leaving. You guys even looked out the window? Go look for yourself. <sighs> Fine. But we're gonna do that in the next part, guys. When we come back, we're gonna be looking out this. We're gonna be looking out this window and finding out what is out the window. Like, what's the big mystery? Like, if you open that window, what's gonna happen? Is it gonna be like a horde of walkers, or is it gonna be like a giant mecha T Rex dinosaur who's also a walker with cybernetic implants and laser eyes? So, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to click. This, don't forget to click the subscribe button. I'll be seeing you guys in the next part of episode four, thicker than water. Peace out, everyone, and have a marvelous, spectacular walker-filled day. As she moaned, she thrust. Her partner came in. She cussed. That's lust. So the boy had fallen into a river. She decided to get up. It was not responsibility she needed. That's sloth.